to speak. Congratulations, um, first off. Um, Burke County is dear and near to my heart, and Burke County is all about advancement. That's what we have as a slogan, as a saying, when people come into this county. And I am very disappointed that the Burke County school system has not been proactive and advanced in um, putting a stop or a parameter around our children when it comes to creative critical race theory. Um, this is being pushed all around us. It is currently in Caldwell County. There are books being taught. Um, you, the Hate You Give, for example, is right now in ninth grade being taught in Caldwell County. This book, first off, is divisive. It is filthy. It is haughty. Besides the critical race theory that is being pushed in it, the social justice being pushed in it, which is all throughout the abstract, um, this is infiltrating our surroundings. We just had Mecklenburg County pay out $25,000 to Abram X. Kendi to come and speak about racism and divism, division. I'm sorry. I live in a bicultural, biracial household. In a household where I do not need my son or my daughter to come home and tell me how they are oppressing their father. Or how my husband needs to look at his son and say, you know what? You don't like me because of the color of your skin. Why is this school board not being proactive in making sure that all curriculum that is being pushed across this state is clear and concise, not only for the board to see, but for parents to see? About seven months ago, I had to have my children and my youth group kids bring me scholastic magazines that were a part of their eighth grade reading that had nothing but Black Lives Matter pictures posted on them. There was 20 million other readings that could have been selected, but yet my son is opening a picture that shows, get your knee off of my neck, worn on a t-shirt by the Scholastic magazine. There is no need that that should have ever reached my household or my children's eyes. It wasn't until this year that my daughter started asking, questions about skin color, about race, and our system has not been proactive. I am telling you that now. And there are parents that don't want to wait for this to come into this school board and into this district. You have an obligation to every student to let them know that they can be whoever the heck they want to be if they put the work in. The parameter needs to be set. You need to protect our children before it gets here. There should not be one more piece of literature there should not be this social studies program coming in until it is reviewed. That needs pushback 100% until it's reviewed. You need to have a microscope to every book of literature that children can get their grasp on. Because it's not going to stop at the critical race theory. It's going to turn into school book story hour by drag queens and everything else. Because once one thing infiltrates our school system, the rest will come. I am asking you guys as a board to please put parameters in place to protect our children, all of them. They are all equal. Let them know they are equal. Do not cause division in our households, in their friendship. Please. That is all I came to say. Please put the parameters out. Make it very, very clear to parents everything that is being taught. Initiate programs for our teachers to contact their parents even more. Because I can tell you, 90% of the parents have no idea what is being taught in the classroom. Not a clue. And that's where you guys come in. You guys are the representatives of the parents. Get out there, talk with them, set up programs, show them what their children are being taught. That falls on each and every one of you. Because a hailstorm will come into this place if that stuff reaches our classroom. And I'm sure you guys know that because you've seen it happening all across the United States all across the United States. Please be proactive, protect our children, Hispanic, black, Asian, white. They are created equal under God. Make sure they know that. And that's all I have to say.